What's up guys? Today we're gonna to go over how to make an automatic item sorter. Um, so this is something that can take items that are thrown kind of haphazardly um, in some sort of container, and it can go and filter them out into designated chests that, uh, you know, have only that item that you want. Um, it'll also take whatever items that don't reach its filter yet, um, and it will pass them along. Um, and you can kind of make like an overflow area where um, items that don't have a chest. So like if I throw my, my item filter in my chest in here, they'll just kind of get passed all the way down until they reach the end. Just to let you know what you're getting yourself into, um, for each item that you, you are filtering, um, so like in this case, I have five, you're going to need three hoppers at least. Um, you might want one like on the ends though. So you might have more than that. Um, two redstone dust, one redstone comparator, a redstone repeater, a torch, 22 items of the thing that you're sorting. Um, so if you're sorting gold, you're going to need 22 gold items. Um, a chest, or at least one chest. Um, and then optionally, you can use an item frame. And optionally, you can have a furnace, which I'll explain later. Um, as well as an opaque block of some sort. And then my floor is the grass. Um, this, again, is for each block that, or sorry, each item that you are filtering. All right, so first things first, we want to place the chests down that we're going to sort the items into. Um, so typically, uh, we see that there are double chests that are all side by side next to each other like this. Um, this is the most compact way to do this. Um, you can also like build chests under them uh, to add more space. There's also nothing stopping you from doing like every other chest if you want to have a small gap or every uh, two chests or whatever you want to do. Um, again, the most compact way is to do them all right next to each other. So I'll do the tutorial like this. Um, I personally actually prefer to have a one block gap but that's just me. For sizing, make sure that on one side of all the chests, you have five blocks. Um, and this is for the redstone and comparators and stuff. And that you can dig down one block into the floor. Um, Cause we are gonna have to place like a torch and a repeater on this block right here. Um, so be prepared for that. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is place hoppers that face into the side of the chests. Um, so you can hold shift and then right click the side of the chests. Um, and then I can just like go and break a block and look to make sure that they're all facing into the chests themselves. The next thing that we do is we need to place the next row of hoppers facing away from any other hoppers. Um, so in particular, you don't want them to face down and you don't want them to face, uh, like if we have one here, we don't want the, it to face to the side either. Um, so typically I just face them into the wall, um, like this. So we can see that they're all kind of facing into the wall. You could face them this way too, if you want to. Um, but the wall is easier for me to get to. And then the third row is just hoppers that are facing into each other. Um, so we have it facing to the left in this case, and then it's to the left, to the left, to the left, into each other. Um, so this row is the row where unfiltered items will go through. And then as they reach the part that filters the specific item, they'll kind of like trickle in and then they'll, you know, run out of items until it's just the things that don't have any sorting um, at the end. Um, this could go to the right if you want. Um, the important thing is that they face into each other at going one direction. Okay. So next we can do some of the redstone. So ultimately what we want to do is essentially just fill up all of these slots with items so that only the item that we fill up with can be accepted into the hoppers. Um, as we can see though, it's just going to suck all of the items I put in here uh, down into the chest and we need it to not do that. So the redstone circuit is there to hold it in the hopper indefinitely. So the way we do that is we have, first of all, an opaque block in our wall. Um, so behind this hopper um, in the middle, make sure it's opaque. Um, if it's glass, it won't work. Um, and you'll know pretty quick if it doesn't work. Um, so don't worry about it too much. But make sure it's opaque uh, for like stone or wood or something. Then we're going to place a comparator that faces away from that block. Uh, make sure it's in the same Y level as the, uh, as the hopper. So in this case, I placed a gold block or whatever block I want here. Um, so that I face it away. Make sure the torch on in the front is off. Um, it'll, it should be off the first time you place it, but if you accidentally right-click it, you can just right-click it again. Then the next thing we want to do is place another redstone right next to it. And then we're going to go down a block, place another redstone dust, and we're going to go down another block. Um, so we're going to break. I'm just going to give myself some space. So down on this block, we're going to place a redstone repeater that faces away from this uh, redstone dust block right here. So it's going to face away, so it's going to go to this block. 
And then this block, we're going to place a redstone. And I'm, I'm just kind of OCD, so I'm going to place this with gold. Um, I tried. I tried to make a dirt. Couldn't do it. Okay. So then that faces it here. And then we place a redstone torch on that block. Um, so pretty much what's going to happen is, um, like I said, we want to fill up these slots. Um, and we'll just fill them up right now. Typically what I do is I do three rows across. And then I place just whatever I have left here. I think it needs to have 10 on the left. Um, but it's a good way to test it by putting more than 10 and then three in all the other slots. So essentially what, what's happening is um, there's too many items in the hopper. So this torch is off. So this hopper is on and it's able to pull the items. Um, but as we just saw, that torch turned on. And that's because um, once it runs out of enough items, this redstone dust from the comparator um, that's reading the number of contents in the hopper um, this one turns off, which turns off the repeater, which then turns on the torch. Um, and then the torch will disable this hopper so it's not able to pull. Um, the reason we need to face this one away from it is so that it doesn't forcibly push the items down, um, which would break the whole thing. Um, so we can see that it's 10 and then 3, 3, and 3, uh, and 3. There's no reason why that couldn't be like 1 or something. Um, I just kind of like 3 to give myself a buffer. Um, and then we can see that it pulled all the rest of the gold down. Now we're going to need to do this for every one of the things that we're sorting. So in this case, I built five. So we're going to need to copy and paste of this thing five times. If you did like 20, um, you're going to have to do it 20 times. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I'll show you uh, doing all four at the same time. Um, really, the name of the game is starting from the bottom and being able to get in to like place all the stuff properly. Um, so the first thing that I do typically is I go under these hoppers right here. Um, and I go and I can place the torch that we need to place. Um, I'm going to place th things with gold just because I want to. You don't have to do this. It can be any block that you want as long as it's like not something that might break like sand. Um, in this case, we have one, two, three, four. So yeah, we place the torch. Um, and I can use this thing as a template because we know that this, this row works here. Um, or this column, I guess. So we place four torches. And then we go around. Um, we're going to place this repeater, uh, so make sure the repeater is facing in. And then we place this block right here. We can place the redstone dust. And then we can place these two blocks. And the reason you want to do it from the bottom up is because once we place these blocks, it's hard to get in here to, to orient them properly. Um, you could do it here, I guess, and that's fine. But then getting the torches is kind of annoying still. Okay. And then we place the dust here. And then we place the comparators facing away. Um, and make sure that these are opaque as well, uh, these blocks specifically. Okay. Um, then we can fill it in just to make sure that we don't leave any holes, because um, that would not be good. All right. Fill in this side as well. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is start filling in uh, this stuff, but for all of our other items. I will say, word of caution, um, I tested this one by just like placing the whole stack in here. Um, because these are all connected to each other now, we need to be careful with not doing that or else it's going to mess it up. So when we go in, um, we want to make sure that there's exactly 22 blocks in this middle row. Um, sorry, 22 items of whatever we're sorting. So in this case, it's 22. I do 10 and then four threes, um, which I think is, I think it's 12 plus 22. Sorry, 12 plus 10, which is 22. I actually don't know how to do math. Um, so we're going to do another row of threes and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we're going to do up to the 22, but don't do more. If I were to place this whole stack in it, it's going to start sucking these down and that's not good. Um, so just to save you time, make sure you only like do it up to that amount. Um, so we're going to do it to that. Um, you can also do like a row of one and then dump the rest of the stuff in one slot. I just do three. Um, just to leave a buffer in case I do mess something up. So we're going to do 3, and then we do 10, and then we do uh, cobblestone, 3, and then 10. Um, just so you know, it's 22 blocks in here, and then this one down here is going to end up with another block. Um, so it's going to be 23 in total. Um, and this is just with how the, the auto sorter works. Um, the torch turns on before this one has time to move the, what, the last one in. Um, so you're going to have 23 items in limbo. Um, just fair warning there. Okay, so now we can see that we have our stuff. Make sure, like, go check them and make sure that your stuff is still in here. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is just, like, make our little train that we already have. This hopper train uh, takes our unfiltered items and just, like, 
goes through. Um, so the fastest way to get them in there is to put a chest here on top of it. Um, I will say do not just like forcibly put items um, like a stack of items in any of these ones that have one of these like filter hoppers under it. Like don't go put a stack of cobblestone in this one. You can do it in this one, but don't do it in this one um, because it'll mess it up. Um, and I can explain that uh, here in a second. But essentially, so we could put these ones in here and I can just dump them all into the chest and eventually they will get sorted um, into the proper locations. Um, so the reason we don't want to overwhelm it with something, um, because we can put it in the chest, but we can see that they're going one at a time. So by the time they reach here, they're only going one at a time. And that's the name of the game here. Um, is the reason we would need to do that is because these are all connected. And the reason that they can be connected, and that's why we can put them all like immediately next to each other, is because it only goes one at a time. So like if this one turns on, right? So this one down here turns on. Um, it's going to mess with all of the torches and stuff. But if this one over here turns on, it's also going to mess with the torches and stuff. But because it only goes one at a time, um, only like this one or this one can be on at a single time. Um, so they, they won't interfere just simply because they, only one of them can be doing something at a time. Uh, but if we overwhelm it, then it can like, this one can like get super saturated and it'll just turn everything on and then it will think that it's sorting something but what really what it's doing is it's just taking these um down out of your hopper um so be careful with that if it breaks um that's possibly what happened um i've done it before where i like misclicked my chest and like just threw it in and didn't really look at what i was doing um like i'd misclick here and just like threw them in instead of this one here um you can do it on one of the ones before your filters start but don't do it on one of the ones that are above your filters um, this chest up here can be kind of high. Um, however you get them into the hoppers is up to you. Um, something that I've also done before is a, like, water column where I put soul sand on the ground here. Um, and then just, like, had it shoot the items up and then had another water column that brought them over to the top of these. Um, so that I can throw them in at ground level. Um, so you can do stuff like that. You can also use, like, droppers or something to push them up if you would like to. Um, you can be creative. Um, a chest up here, I think, is the fastest way. Um, and I just, sometimes I get lazy, sometimes I do the bubble column. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, make sure you don't saturate it. So this really should be everything you need uh, for it. Uh, you can fill in this block with something just so you don't have to go look at the ugly stuff in the back. Um, I will say, before I leave, it is more lag friendly uh, to have some sort of container on top of hoppers that are open, but you don't have any intention of throwing stuff into. Um, so typically I like to put furnaces on top of all of these hoppers that are not being used. Um, like they're being used, but they're not, the top of them is not being used. Um, Cause I think furnaces look okay aesthetically. Um, I believe it could be any container. Um, so it could be chests or like, um, I mean, other hoppers kind of doesn't solve the problem. Uh, but it can be any container. I don't know if shulker boxes work, but other than that. Um, and yeah, it just makes it a little bit more lag friendly. Um, if you don't care about lag or if it's like you're not making a whole bunch of them, it probably won't make a difference. But if you're making like 200 or something, um, it, it could be worth it to put something on top of these. Uh, before we end the video, I just want to show that if you need more space um, on the chests, you can pretty easily do that. Um, easily as in, I hope you don't have stuff in the basement. Um, by going down and you can go down by one and then you can put chests under it and put a another hopper under that in order to um, get the, the items down. Um, it might take a little bit longer, but you should be able to... Um, sorry, I got to put it over here. You should be able to do that and it will suck it into the bottom chest first um, before going into the top chest. Uh, so in this case, you can expand the storage without really having to change anything else. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. I hope you learned something of value, and I hope to see you next time.